These are the elevators at a residence hall at Cornell University in Ithaca, New York. Part of the reason why I'm filming this video is because as of tomorrow, that is how many years I've been on YouTube. Six years. Can't believe it, but here we are. Basement. I just figured that these would be some interesting elevators to film. They may not look all that interesting from the outside or from the inside because just basic ThyssenKrupp. ThyssenKrupp mod, but when we get to the top, you'll see part of the reason why these elevators are interesting. So yeah, here we are on the sixth floor. We're gonna go inside this little lounge. As mentioned, this is a, um, a residence hall. So this is like a place that the students would hang out in. But take a look at this. Yeah, it's the sunset. And you can see a little bit of Cornell's North Campus area. If any of you have ever been to Cornell's North Campus, you probably know exactly where this is by now. But we're gonna take a little look at another side of Cornell. We can see that there's some of Cornell's central campus. and more of North Campus and that tall building out there in the distance is Bradfield Hall which I have not yet filmed at but will in the near future. All right so let's just shut this and then we're just gonna get one little look at the sunset again. Just gotta go up this little set of stairs And yeah, like I said, beautiful view. That down there is Jessup Road. But yeah, anyway, let's go down, shall we? And yeah, as mentioned, I'm filming this on July 31st, but tomorrow, which should be the upload date of August 1st, I will have officially have been on YouTube for six years. Let's go, actually, let's go ground because something you'll notice when we get to the other elevator is that the other one does not serve the basement. Actually on second thought how about we just go to the basement that way I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's got a voice too. Let's go down. But yeah, as you see, it's got the padding, stainless steel cabs, so really nothing that exciting. It takes a while for these elevators to start moving. Probably takes about seven or eight seconds after the door shut to actually move. So anyway, this is what I was talking about. The other elevator does not come down here. So we're gonna go back up to ground on this one. So let's go to ground. We're gonna watch the button go out. Ground floor. And we're gonna send this one. Uh, yeah, we're gonna send it up. I don't even know if that actually went through, but this is a little way to summon the elevator and find out. Nope, this one's coming. And as you can see from the outside indicator, it only goes up. We're gonna go to six. 
and as you can see there's one less button on here there is no button for the basement we're on elevator number two So yeah, here we are. The other elevator is up here, I think. Actually, wait, does that say six or G? It says G. All right, so it went back down. So let's go to, let's go back to G. And here is, again, the same cab, still padded. So what's behind the padding? Let's find out. Nothing. It's just more stainless steel.